I've spent a lifetime on the Texas Gulf Coast painting, fishing, just enjoying the beautiful scenery of past off. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time in the outdoors, gaining inspiration. And it's all led me to this, this new endeavor I call Painting Texas with Brickmasters. And this is one of my favorite. Just a little bit about this painting. This painting is a, essentially a portrait of a place that I like to stop and, and look at the surf when it rolls in. Um, a lot of times on my way back from Galveston, I'll, I'll stop here on Bolivar, uh, Bolivar Peninsula, just before High Island, and uh, kind of watch the waves roll in for just four or five minutes is long enough. You know, just kind of take in uh, take in a little bit of the sounds and, and uh, hang out and, and enjoy the, the surf rolling in. And so I thought I'd paint this one in a very large format. Uh, typically, typically I paint uh, the water with uh, a little bit more of a blue or green tint than it uh, really deserves. I, I tried to be fairly realistic with this painting and so I really didn't uh, change the colors much. Uh, this is, uh, you can notice on my phone uh, on the left I've got uh, a reference photo I took. I kind of crouched down on my knees and, and grabbed a photograph of the surf as it was rolling in and, and uh, took probably about 30-40 pictures and ended up liking this one uh, just in terms of a composition. I thought it was uh, kind of cool because it had uh, a wave and, and really all three kind of phases of uh, what the surf does there. We have a wave off in the distance that's kind of rising up, one that's uh, fully curling over right in the middle. Uh, so we've got that nice curl wave and then, and then one that's already really broke and kind of crashed in front of it to the left. So anyway, uh, this this actual uh, painting process, uh, you know, started uh, late one evening. Uh, I believe it was the Fourth of July. I started uh, started the block-in process, and so you can see, I'm still working on the block-in process while we're while we're watching this. You can right here. I have the painting. I have paint all over the canvas, and you'll see me leave. I'm kind of letting it dry there because. Um, now I'm painting a second layer, and really this is uh, this is kind of the process. So most of the paintings I paint get painted uh, three or four times. So um, you know I I rough in a very uh, crude shape of the composition, and then a lot of times I will uh, you know go in and uh, you know refine those shapes and maybe make some corrections during the second layer. I, you know, most artists would call this sort of the modeling phase of creating a painting. So here I'm painting with acrylic, so I'm, I'm keeping them very thin um, because I still may make some changes along the way. And so you can see that now I'm, I'm starting to define uh, just little pieces of water, white water in front of the crashing portion of the waves. And I'm also trying to Think about where the foam is in between the last little breaker and the, uh, and the sand. Uh, here I'm adding some more detail to uh, the one main curl wave, which I think is really kind of the uh, star attraction of the painting. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm actually moving in to uh, what I would call the third layer. Uh, which is a little more refinement of the modeling uh, and adding more details. So I'm getting a little more specific. So you can see I'm, I'm now painting a few waves in the background. I'm trying to give the painting a little depth and perspective. And so I want to uh, impart some distance on the horizon. So 
Uh, now I've, I've turned on the light and so you can kind of see a little better uh, that uh, you know I am I am staying true to the colors uh, that are that are in the picture so um, here I am actually painting uh, the fourth layer of paint and this is really the details and this is where I'm gonna pick up and uh, place some heavier impasto and, and I'm going to I've, I've saved my whitest paints um, I've kind of saved that for the end uh, in my process I kind of call it bringing the light you know so at the end I really I really take some of the darker tones and I lighten them and I, and I think about the actual um, colors and uh, what you know values as artists would say you know how dark and how light are some of these areas and so you can see i'm lightening up the foam quite a bit in some of the wash in front of the wave and here's this uh my favorite part one of my favorite parts is to paint the that kind of that leading edge of the sea foam as the wave is kind of washing onto the beach i also uh, decided to add some rocks some shells to the beach and that's that's what you're watching now is I'm I'm putting it in just kind of randomly uh, not too randomly I'm, I'm using a reference photo but I'm not sticking to the script 100% um, I'm not out to duplicate the photo perfectly but uh, and you can see I've signed it I'm very close in here I'm, I'm actually painting a few distance clouds uh, just to give the break the sky up just a little bit um, and uh, now finally I've, I've added some real impossible I'm using very very thick pure titanium white here to get those very fine highlights and so the brightest spots anyway thank you very much I appreciate you watching